is Kimmy here from Unique Scrappiness and today I wanted to share with you my Orford paintbrush and I know that there's um there's been a lot of these going around and I might be a little bit late jumping onto the wagon but um I um have only sort of just been able to get a hold of some sort of fairly whitish paintbrushes in my area and even then they're not that wide they're only uh, a three inch um, chip brush it's called and what I liked about this one is the handle is raw there's no hole in it um, which was a bit of an advantage for me um, and less work I didn't have to sand it or do anything to paint it or anything like that so what I've done with mine is I gave it a light coat of pink and it is a Kazercraft um, baby pink <laughs> here's where I demoed it and I actually um, then stamped with black stays on ink onto some tissue paper and then <clears throat> and then laid it up onto the brush sorry um, so I've done that all the way around and um, and I actually glued it in place with the Jo Sonia's decoupage varnish I actually like this better than um, than Mod Podge when it comes to sealing things because it doesn't leave really thick brush strokes um, Sorry. So that's that's what I use for that one. I've um, I used scraps on the base of the brush from the Kaisercraft uh, <laughs> Lake House collection. That's what I've been working with the last couple of days. I've done a lot of projects with the Lake House collection, and these were just some strips left over. Um, and I, that's why I sort of went with the pink and black theme. You can sort of see the pink layers here and uh, black layers and there was I can't really lift the lace up for you to see but there was a black layer coming out underneath the bottom as well I painted the bristles with just some more of the same pink paint and then I brushed on some uh, Tim Holtz black soot so it's just to tie it all in and I've also inked the edges very lightly on the handle part of the brush it's very hard to try and get it into into sort of <laughs> in the middle of the shot okay so um, what else is there there's not much really else to tell I've just laid it up with some laces here and this really fine pink one is it came in a swap from Tash hi Tash thank you for that it was a perfect shade and it's there just so subtle I don't think you can quite see it oh there it is um, and just uh, bling from my, my stash, one of my crocheted flowers, and I made a little charm with a hang, a stick pin with a hanging charm on it. Um, a piece of cro from a crochet doily that I've cut up, and um, one of these lovely little butterflies here, mesh butterflies. And then, yeah, I just snaked the bling up. And this really fine lace here, this also came from Tash. I love this stuff, Tash. I was going to hoard it, but I just can't stop using it. It's gorgeous. And, I, um, yeah, so it'll all be gone soon. <laughs> um, and then I've just added a bow to the top with some pink seam binding and a mulberry paper flower. And then on the back, because there was no hole, I've just used a drawing pin um to put the seam binding in and then i um glossy accented a lovely pearl whoops sorry guys but from the camera um a lovely big pearl flat back pearl and these also came from tash in a swap that we did just recently so um see tash i'm being a good girl i'm actually using everything and not hoarding it <laughs> so okay guys so there's my shabby chic um paintbrush uh i'm gonna make a couple more i have two two more three inch brushes and i have a couple of the two inch brushes so thanks that's it thanks for watching everyone um hopefully i haven't made you too sick and I'll put some still shots at the end of the of the video of it as well. Okay, bye.